Hey everybody, I'm back with more Motive Madness compilation reaction. Let's see what we have here today. It's Rage Rex of Morons. Nobody said the bike life would be easy. Episode number 58. Let's have a look here. Looks like he's going to race this uh, Mustang off to the right. And yeah, let's see what happens. Although, notice the traffic in front. Not a very wise thing to do. <laughs> Well, there's nowhere the Mustang could have won, even if he was faster, because there's a car in the right lane. Can't blame the truck, because how would the truck know this guy's going to haul butt? He moved over. Some might say, oh, blinker, blinker. Well, he wasn't expecting a motorcycle to be approaching that fast. Might not even notice. Looked back, saw the motorcycle way back there, and then... Was like, ah, I'll get over. Started getting over, and here's the rider hauling ass. You know, if you're going to do stuff like this, at least pick an empty road. Crossing the lines, never a good idea. Low quality rider, low performance rider versus the bike. The bike could have handled that, no problem. Yep, rider just drifted off, going over his comfort speed, his skill level. Wow, he ate a bunch of dirt. His head got dragged. God damn, dude. I'm glad you're all right for the most part, anyways. Yeah. Wait, come on. Let's see. We don't know what lane he came from. If that's a one-way road and there's two lanes or what the deal is or he just went around. Possibility. Really don't know the circumstance there. But okay, let's assume he is in the wrong. He did cut way over. Yeah, I, I would say the rider, rider in the moped is at fault, most likely. Oh, we're in London. Oh, Kingsington. See, in the U.S., you're not allowed to drive in the oncoming lane, <laughs> just passing every vehicle. That is not really lane sharing. That's just making people mad. See, an idiot, idiot. Now, this rider obviously has a beef. Um, just. Ride your ride. Why are you worried about him? Obviously, he's an idiot. And you have the video footage to show that he was way over, cut the lane and tried to pass you. He's in a hurry. YouTube later, mate. Pick yourself up on YouTube later. No one cares when you say that. I've tested that. They don't care. <laughs> Okay, car's in the wrong, but you could see way back here, and you're not going that fast. 
slow down. Obviously, something's going on. You're making a big deal out of it. It is understood after almost being sideswiped by a Harley rider, this biker was then confronted with a knife. Okay. Why are we filming with a phone? This is like the worst footage. This clip just shows the reaction after said incident. Oh, we have to take his word for it. One of those videos. Well, you don't know who this guy is. He might have been in prison. He might not care. But here you are. You're going to antagonize him. You're going to antagonize somebody that might not care. And it's your work versus his, whether that even occurred. All we see is he flicked you off. So he's going to say, well, we stopped. We were in an argument. He pulled a knife. None of that's on video. Maybe run a GoPro. Just saying. Well, I don't know, Mr. Ryder. You sort of over. I mean, yeah, you have the blinker on, but, I mean, you kind of jumped over. I don't know. Yeah, the car's at fault, I guess. It wasn't a big deal, but whatever. They didn't chase the driver. Ooh. God, I... Yeah, she's 100% at fault here. Gonna miss her turn. I could see how the car driver got confused. Ryder is blocked by the SUV, so you can tell. You can't see the driver, driver can't see you. And they probably started going right here. Yep. And you already had that mental, you already looked, you're going, and you're like, whoa. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that was a big deal. That's an honest mistake right there. Um, couldn't see around the SUV. Probably been waiting there for a while. Hey, I know how it is as being a a driver of a big vehicle versus uh, you know being a rider. I know both aspects of it. I wouldn't necessarily blame the rider if I was driving, and I wouldn't blame the driver if I was riding. <laughs> While on the way to work, biker noticed his bike smoking. No, it is a triumph. Yeah. Electrical. <laughs> Just pull over. Stop. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. What you gonna stare at? Take the seat oh, off if you good. can. Although it's under the tank, but look, it's if it's electrical, good luck. A good thing to do in this situation would be to get to the battery as fast as possible and remove the wires from the terminals. Yep, if you can. Not all bikes, it's that easy. Uh, new rider, new to life. This isn't that hard. Pull your key out. What? He's like dilly dallying. So you're, it's a fire. Don't blow on it. Give, give it more oxygen. Oh no! You're gonna pour water on a. Do you have a fire, fire extinguisher? Do you have a fire extinguisher? I have a fire over here. I need to put out. Fire extinguisher? Where? 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 Where's your fire? There's one right there. Where is it? I'll be there right back. I'll bring it back. It's a one-use deal. Uh, Shit. Uh. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't pull the seat off. It's a newer bike. It's a Triumph. Is it weird or something that you can't just pull the seat off? I mean, at least... Maybe you could have a look. Maybe you could get to the terminals. Bike terminals aren't that complicated. You might be able to just rip off the terminal. 
with enough force <laughs> or yank the fuses so no electric electricity is flowing from the battery if it's not the battery itself but if it's shorting it's shorting you need to get to the battery if it was fuel we would have saw flames of course he's not talking to us so we don't know if it smelled like electrical or what have you thank you that made all the difference um, it's still usable yeah just put it down there thank you <laughs> they seem to be like what's going on we don't know what to do yeah typical mcdonald's you know they're probably not trained in anything <laughs> but uh yeah kind of wondered what happened after that Rode upon a crash scene and stopped to offer some logistical advice to avoid what? something the injured biker any more harm causing the biker. So what? Did you guys see what happened? Oh, I was coming when I saw him just going to lose the, the, the turn, no? Yeah. We was right behind him to wait him. We are with him, so... Did he um, just take it too wide? Yes. Too hot and too wide, yeah. yeah. Damn, that's a nice BMW. Yes. Nah, it could be fixed, hopefully. <laughs> no, insurance is going to total that. Thanks, All right, thanks so much. Thank you, man. I just, like I said, just oh, keep him still. Don't let him move his back. We don't know what kind of back problem he's going to have. Is this guy EMT or something? Because <laughs> I love how he's not moving. Why are you giving a bunch of advice? Oh, for you too. If you move him more, he can actually pinch his nerve. <laughs> Wait until they get to mobilize him. Just breathe normal. Relax. Um, if you have a jacket, put over him for the shade if you can. Let him get in the position he's comfortable. Yeah, take the boots off. Take the boots off. They're gonna either they're gonna take them off or they're gonna cut them off. We're not going to cut the boots off if it's not a, a leg injury. <laughs> Been there. They, they, they don't do that. They, they're going to cut the riding suit off. Yeah, we don't want you to... They're going to cut those off, so you want to take them off now. But you guys are good? Yes. All right, guys. Thanks, hey, no worries, man. I'm glad he's good. Yeah, well, hopefully he turned out okay. on the street it's like you never know what you ah, shit. I'm gonna keep going. does he say i want to keep going hey he was one okay. went down right in front of me whoa i had to cut that a little bit oh uh, this is where drivers don't like people just clogging the roadway every lane just about except the slow lane maybe that's a get off lane <laughs> a lot. He's got a scrape pad welded onto it. Watch it. <laughs> bye, bye. Grab it, grab it, grab it. I would have tried. Good job. Oh, shit. Grab it. You're not going to keep it up. I was going to, but he had it already, so...
We don't like to hit animals, but versus going down, you hit the animal. Can't blame the dog. Da, mi-a sărit o pisică în față. Vai de capul meu. Glad to be back. Glad to be doing these. Hope you all you all are enjoying these. Stay well, stay safe, my friends, and get out there and ride. If you got those two wheels, it's a lot of fun. Don't let these videos discourage you. Have a good one. Bye.